So, we're here, <laughs> finally. Let me tell you something, I was a little bit ner nervous because you know that sometimes when you write about something and you recommend things to people, yeah. sometimes you don't, you don't uh, pay attention to yourself. You know what I mean? Right. I've been like delaying this for nine months and I was looking for this thermography. As I told you before, I went yeah. to this place, they weren't there, so I was trying to find somebody and I found you and I found Advanced Thermography of South Florida. And I wanted just to interview you because I think it's pretty important for women to know why this procedure is so important and what and, and that we have another um, another um, ¿Cómo se dice en inglés eso? Eh, se me fue la palabra ahora de tanto, porque estoy tratando de traducir en español en inglés. Eh, option, another option. option, you know? Instead of doing a mammography, do a thermography. So I wanted, uh, just tell me, tell me about this sure. uh, procedure. Well, first of all, I mean, I have a lot, of, like I said earlier, a lot of women that come. My name is Carol Brasino. Carol, yes. <laughs> I had your brochure. Where is it? I left it. I oh, left it somewhere. Fine. Okay. I'm going to show you the, the, the yes. And I ask you because uh, yeah. I wanted to know, you are a certified clinical thermographer. Yes. That's what you are. Yes. Come over here. Oh, don't be, don't be, <laughs> don't be so, so uh, distant to me. So you are a clinical uh, thermographer. What's a clinical thermographer? Well, I'm trained to take the, the, the scans that you will see later on that you've done. Okay. That you're doing today. And so getting back to what thermography is. Okay. Thermography is digital infrared thermal imaging, so we use a thermal camera. It's a very um, easy procedure. The breast takes about 15 minutes, and as you know, the upper body is going to probably take about 30 minutes. A, it's no radiation, it's no compression, it's very easy um, screening tool that is very relaxing, and no, you don't have to be nervous. Um, just very relaxing compared to going to a doctor's office and that. So again, going back to what you were saying about a different option. Um, I get, I have women that just strictly do the thermography, mm -hmm. or I have women that will do the thermography, then a mammogram the next year. But the women that just do only the thermography, I do tell them if anything ever comes up on their report that they must go and see um, the doctor, whether it's following it up with a mammogram. Who, analyze, who analyzes these pictures? Or they're, this board certified, they're board certified doctors and they're trained to read the thermograms. Okay, Is so there somebody, are, somebody whoever no, that reads them? No, there are the a doctors. lot of them are radiologists. Um, they're all over the United States. And there's also thermography clinics all over the United States, even in um, outside the United States. So I have patients that come to me from Jamaica, from England, I mean, all over. Why do you think it's, it's getting popular now? I think a, why it's getting popular is because a lot more people are looking for, like you said earlier, different alternatives, different options, because they want to live a more healthier lifestyle. They, I mean, everywhere we go, there's radiation. Radiation off our cell phone, um, even though it's made be very minute, the microwave, going through the airport security, you know, when they do those big body screening yes. things. Uh, when we go to the dentist for x-rays, so we're always going to be exposed to it. Decidí hacerme uno de los tratamientos que va, voy a tener que ponerme así para que me vean, eh, uno de los tratamientos que es de todo lo que es upper body, que es la parte de arriba del cuerpo, eh, la cabeza, me van a ver la tiroides, eh, el pecho, el breast y la zona abdominal también. Okay, and then under there it's going to be their discussion and their recommended follow-up. Okay. okay, and of course for the breast, since we are doing the breasts, it is recommended that you do a three-month follow-up. Okay. Okay. Esta es la manera que luce cuando sacan el tipo de termografía. Y ellos te, por supuesto, ella es una analista que lo manda al doctor, y el doctor es el que analiza las fotografías que saquen de tu cuerpo, eh, y va a analizar, depende de la zona, qué zona de repente... Eh, how, do you, how do you know... Uh, if somebody, it's just like the red zones, is, if it's something is going on. Right. So, going so it detects the, report, the heat on your it body. It detects the heat. So. O sea, lo que hace es que eh, ve el calor de tu cuerpo, que es lo que tiene, y de esa manera, de, con ese calor, es que sabe si tus células están alteradas. Uh, I was asking you about the, 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 the scan. Is it good to have it once a year, like full body, half of the body? So what would you recommend? Well, for the breast, mm -hmm. you do your initial. 
Okay, so I call it like your baseline, your fingerprint. That's not going to change. So each of us are all individually, our breasts are all different, just like we have a different fingerprint. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's recommended to come back in th three months to do the follow up because the infrared camera is detects the heat. Okay, okay? it's the skin temperature, and that is primarily primarily the blood flow throughout our body. Okay. So it changes in our breast every ninety days. So that then. When you come back and with the, the second one, and they check it against the first one to see if there's any changes in the patterns or the colors, the shapes. Okay, and if there has been any changes in the patterns, something suspicious is going on. But if nothing has ever has, hasn't changed from the first one, then you just come back yearly. Okay, it is called DITI testing. Yeah, digital infrared, digital infrared thermal okay. imaging. Okay, it's not invasive, no radiation, no pain. No contact with the body. Correct. Because a mammogram is pretty uh, hurt. It's a 50 pound weight that's compressing yes. your breast. Yes, you're compressing your breast. Yes, it is. So all women can benefit from this yes. treatment? Yes, all women can benefit. And, you know, I'm again, I'm reiterating, it's a great screening tool to alerting your doctors, whether it's any type of breast disease mm -hmm. or any type of issues going on in the body. Then you follow up with the subsequent, whether it's a mammogram, an ultrasound, or if it's, you know, a biopsy or of any sort and throughout the body, or blood work that needs to be done for, to check whether it's thyroid issues. Um, Tell me about the preparation before coming here. You sent oh, me a right, list yes. of things. <laughs> I forgot. But I was explaining that in Spanish before coming here, you know, the preparation that I had to. It wasn't difficult. It's just no. like, you know, for me, I'm half Italian. Now using the other end before, even though I use a natural one with the natural oils, it was like a, mm, okay, no deodorant for, <laughs> no for, deodorant, for, yes. for four hours before the treatment. So tell me just like four steps that you recommend before coming to the exam. Well, the um, if you're doing the full body, no makeup. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, no makeup. makeup. Uh, no shaving the underarms the day of the exam. Um, no physical stimulation, whether it's massage, therapy, acupuncture, or anything like Sex? that. Sex? Yeah, um, no, <laughs> no sex. <laughs> right, um, it physical stimulation. Physical stimulation. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so twenty four hours before. Okay. And then after that, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, also, no shaving. I think I already said no that. Shaving, no shaving. Yes. No lotion and deodorants, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. um, no caffeine. No and caffeine. No working out. Yes. Four hours before. Oh, you see, it's not. It's not difficult. It's Only not that difficult. Five or. Five Five or f five steps yeah. before coming here. It was pretty easy. So I was looking into your uh, website, Advanced Thermo Thermography of South Florida. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you guys the uh, proper <laughs> website on on this video so you can contact them because you guys. W what I like about you guys is that you are all over. You're just right. like moving yourself Sir, different. And, and Miami, Miami Dade. Dade and Broward too. So advancedthermography.com, that's the website. Yes. Carol, I just want to thank you. You know, I was I was scared when I got here, but you know, you you see the the, 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 the people here in this place and, and the place itself is just not it's not like a like a hospital. No. That you go in there into this, you know, cold places. All the sick people. The sick people, yes. It's just like pretty Holistic, really. Yeah, That's I mean, holistic. the places that I go to, they are, whether it's a massage therapy place, um, an acupuncture office, all the places that I go to are are in that line. What is this, uh, before we finish, Healthy Girl Breast Oil? Oh, yeah. This what is, is this? Um, this is all essential oils that you can massage into the breast. It helps um, soften the breast tissue, helps with the lymphatic. Um, oh. A lot of women, too, that will show up on the report that they may can be congested in their lymph nodes. Oh, and yes. we and that can lead because that's built up toxins. Of you know? course. So that is really great to get. And you and always have. you always have yes this oil with you when yes. you when when you have people coming here. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, okay, Carol. Thank and you. and you know hopefully a lot of people are gonna you know think about this kind of uh, preventive. Preventive, preventative, yes, yes preventative uh, treatment. You know, it's scary sometimes because you don't want to go through any kind of exam and and maybe uh, get the results that you don't right. that you don't want. But uh, sometimes you need to do it, and I think it's it's good it's good for all women to be women, and, men, and to take men too, of men course, too, yeah. to take time for ourselves right. because we, we never have, have time, right? Right. I mean, this is a great tool to know what's going on without before maybe even having symptoms. Exactly. So. so.